Has paid 50 cents today and it works. Update took an offer of 170 50 cents into 170. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we're going to talk about unexpected and big money Bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. And I would like to invite everybody watching to come over to my Bolo Buddies Facebook group and share your best Bolo. Up under the featured announcement section, you're gonna see a post like this, and you just come and share your Bolo. You tell me where you got it, what you paid for it, what it sold for, and shout out your social media, or um, so if you have YouTube, if you sell on whatnot, whatever platforms you sell on, put it in the comment, and I will mention it in the video. Here is the first one, and this one comes from Edge City Traders, who is on eBay, Poshmark, Etsy, Mercari, and District, and it is a Limoges porcelain trinket box. She won it at a charity thrift store silent auction. She said three Limoges trinket boxes for $36, so $12 each, and she sold this one for $53.87 on Mercari, and Mercari has no selling fees right now, so what a perfect time to get your items on Mercari, right? Because she got the whole $53.87. So she does do free shipping. I do the same thing. I suggest that on Mercari, especially now that the buyer's picking up the fees. Um, this kind of helps offset that, in my opinion. So little trinket box there. And if you're not on Mercari and you want to get on Mercari, I do have a referral link down below. You can get $10 to shop when you use that to join Mercari and another $20 to shop when you sell $100 worth of items. And I think they have some promotion going on that's different right now. And I'm not sure when that ends. So it may be a little different. Uh, this one is a Kandinsky print board mounted new vintage. I have no idea what that is. It looks like that. Sea battle. See, I don't see a battle. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not seeing this right now. Okay. Uh, she said vintage museum gift shop art print on board. New old stock paid for at unique savers sold for full asking price of 67 88. And this is also edge city traders. Antique hammered copper pot. Uh, very cool. It's like a little basin. And she got this at a Goodwill for five and accepted an offer of 59. How cute is that? Edge City Traders also. This next one is like the cutest butter dish, right? It is a vintage Pyrex Spring Blossom Crazy Daisy Butter Dish. And I think my grandma had these dishes, if I remember correctly. I don't know if she had the butter dish, but she had the dishes. I'm almost certain of it. Um, doesn't it go around the rim? And I was over at Lucky Day Living's on Whatnot, and her daughter had made a cute little purse keychain type thing, like a purse charm, and it had this pattern on it, I believe. It was so cute. And if you guys are not following Lucky Day Living, her and her daughter are now doing Whatnot together. Her daughter makes the cutest little things and helps her do bundles, and you should definitely give her a follow. I will uh, put her name down there. It's Lucky Day Ducky, lucky, ducky. It's ducky day. No, it's lucky day living. So check her out. She's fabulous. Uh, so this says, I found this at a local thrift store and paid $2.79 for it. It sold in a couple days for $49 plus shipping in my Etsy shop, The Perfect Treasure. I'm also on B eBay as The Perfect Treasure and help raise funds for Kitty Angels, a no kill cat shelter under the eBay name Kitty Angels MA. All right, you guys, there you have it. So $49 for this butter dish. And let's go to the next one here, which is also hers. Look at this beautiful cameo. Oh my goodness. Wow. Vintage Art Deco carved shell cameo bro brooch set in gold filled frame horseshoe. Wowza, right? Wow. Wow. She said, I'm always happy to pay up for items that I know will sell quickly and for a good profit. I bought this gold filled shell cameo at a local thrift store for $18.59. It sold in less than a week for $125 plus shipping from Etsy shop. Um, and this is also the perfect treasure. 
So yes, yes, yes. Awesome, awesome bolo. Look at the detail on there. And you guys, if you're not on Whatnot, my referral link is down below. You can get $15 to shop with that. And I was telling you about Lucky Day Living. Um, you can also check me out on Bolo Buddies over there. I do a lot of untanglings and it's a lot of fun. So I hope you will come and hang out and listen to me laugh and drink coffee and sell jewelry from a big tangle. It's super fun. Um, it won't let me share the link to a sold listing, but I'll put my page link below. It's not a huge amount of money, but I spent a total of 18 for a bundle of scrapbook albums which all had extra packs of pages and page protectors, uh, at total six albums, 19 packs of page protectors, 10 packs of pages. I kept four. I've only sold six packs of pages and have already doubled my money. Uh, I got them at eco thrift. All right. So I'm going to tell you right now, I sell these individually for 10 to $25, depending on the brand. These are creative memories, which is great. But the vintage refill pages, yes. So the person buying this may be flipping these because, again, $15 to $25, depending on which ones I pick up. I always sell them individually. Uh, she sold them in a lot on Mercari for $36 plus shipping. So somebody got an amazing, amazing deal on that. She has sunshine and a mustard seed. So yes, scrapbooking items can definitely be a bolo. This is, she said, last but not least, $90 sale on scraps of old wrapping paper, a couple note cards and stickers. I was probably all in for less than $10. Sunshine and a mustard seed at Sunshine Crafts. And this one also sold on Mercari. And you can see here, somebody probably um, bundled all of these items. And it sold for 90 with free shipping. That's fabulous. This is listed less than 48 hours. So this sold really quick. She purchased for $11.99 with damage to right arm. Discovered after purchase. Could have priced higher based on comps, but found my price. And so can the buyer. Great sale. Would definitely keep an eye out for these. Um, seller is Yunction Junction. And she's got a picture here. The arm has damage to it. So it still sold for $90, even with the damage on the arm. It's a Steinbach uh, Nutcracker Abraham Lincoln. If you see Steinbach, definitely look it up. It's a pretty good brand. Emma Bridgewater. This is a discontinued retired mug. Found this mug at the Goodwill for a dollar. I thought it was unusual and said made in England on the bottom. I love birds, so it caught my eye. Listed on eBay and it sold in 10 days for $39.75. Sent offers to watchers, sold for $37.75. I am reborn 2C517 on eBay. So quick flip, 10 bucks. Um, mugs, mugs are one thing that are hit and miss, so definitely look them up. But things with animals and birds, a lot of people are looking for things that they collect. And a lot of people collect animals. This is a 2022 Hallmark Tan Plush Bunny Rabbit. Orange ears, embroidered eyes and nose. Embroidered eyes and nose is something great to put in the title. A lot of people will pick those up for babies and pets as dog toys and stuff because they do not have the choking hazard of the eyes. So if you put embroidered or sewn eyes and nose in the title, you may pick up a buyer that you wouldn't have got if you didn't use those keywords. Found this cute Hallmark bunny at the Goodwill for $2, sold for $33.50. Buyer also paid shipping. I don't do free shipping. I sell a bit of everything, but mainly plush. Uh, also guys, uh, if you wanna learn more about plush bolos, Type in Bolo Buddies plush. I have tons of videos all about plush items, stuffed animals to be on the lookout for. This is a vintage Fisher Price Great Adventures Castle. It also has the minifigures there. Paid 75 cents. 75 cents, wowza, on Thursday at a yard sale. Listed on eBay Friday. Sold today, Sunday for $100 plus shipping. How on earth did you get this for 75 cents? That is fabulous. All right, Bolo Buddies. This is from Thriftaholic. She is going to share a This Is My Bolo with us. And I would love for you guys to send me a message on Instagram or Facebook under Bolo Buddies, a 60-second video of your This Is My Bolo, and I will feature it in one of my videos. Thank you so much to everybody that shares in these videos. I appreciate you all so much. And let's see what her Bolo is. 
Hi, Tina the Thriftaholic here with another Bolo. Thank you, Courtney, for the opportunity to share this. So this is a little glass figurine sculpture. Really cool, see how it's reverse painted. Um, and it's actually, I think from Sweden. Um, and I just am going to stress that I got this at a church sale at the very end of the church sale day. It was still sitting there. It was only 50 cents. I picked it up because it was unusual. And if you can see there, it is marked and signed. So I would always encourage you to look at the bottom of, of a, a glass pieces and just see if it's signed. If it's signed, it's more like, most likely really good. This sold for $85. So it's really cool. Um, Joe Joe Hassan, I think, is the last name of the um, the artist. So thank you so much. And again, Tina the Thriftaholic on eBay and on YouTube. And come and join my channel and see what else I find. All right. Happy hunting. Joan Rivers Vintage Gold Omega 10 Color Interchangeable Gemstone Necklace. So Joan Rivers makes a lot of these interchangeable things and they do pretty well. Got this Joan Rivers necklace from a tag sale for five. I saw the nurse flipper sell some Joan Rivers jewelry for big money. So I took a chance. This sold within the hour of listing on Poshmark for full asking price of $100. Probably could have gotten more, but I was really excited. So I accepted. Flower Gems Thrift on Instagram. Okay, let's see what the next one is here. Now, this one here, it says, took a chance at an auction and bought four boxes of RC car parts. A little out of my area of expertise, but I figured I'd take a chance. Paid 70 for four boxes of parts. Started listing on eBay last night and have already made my money back plus and have only sold about six pieces. And I haven't even listed half the stuff yet. I'm guessing I'll make over 500 on this stuff. It shows you you should take a chance and go with your gut feeling. I'll be looking out for more of the same in the future. Yeah, RC parts can definitely be a bolo for sure. The next one here is this. It says paid 50 cents today and it works. Update took an offer of 170 50 cents into 170. I forget what this guy's called and I can't see the actual listing. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm sorry. Disney Pixar Toy Story 2 Talking Mr. Mike Voice Changer Play School. And it works. That is what it looks like, guys. Definitely be on the lookout for that toy. I knew about this one, but I haven't seen it in a while. So nice little refresher there. Uh, be on the lookout. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. I mentioned in some other videos that I am doing some things to kind of revamp and get my eBay store like bumping again. I'm doing a refresh. I'm using List Perfectly to do it. I'm also getting all of my items into the List Perfectly catalog. I know I've been using it since 2019. I've been on the business plan, but they have some amazing updates and I'm like, okay, I'm doing it. I'm going to the pro plan. So I have upgraded to the pro plan. So don't be like me. Don't wait so long. Um, auto delist. They also have a Poshmark uh, feature. They also have the new listing assistant, which I did a video on. Oh my goodness, guys. Game changer. I'm so excited. I am listing things so much faster. You got to check out that video. I'm going to link it down below. And also... I show you in another video how I'm refreshing my eBay store, getting items into the List Perfectly catalog, and I'm tweaking some, th some things, and I'm hoping to get all of those stale listings refreshed, and I'm just kind of doing these things. I'm, it's going to be a process. I'm going to do it slowly and at my own pace because that was the big thing where I was like, I don't want to do it because I have, what, 5,000 listings, and it's going to take me forever. But... The way I'm doing it, it's going to be a refresh and an upgrade and all of that at the same time. So I'm super excited. It's working out really good. I think I, it's been about a week and a half, two weeks, and I'm sticking to it. I'm doing really good and I'm getting lots of new items into my eBay store, which I am, instead of waiting until I list a bunch of stuff and then cross posting from eBay to the other platforms, when I have time, I'm doing it right then when I list it which guess what? 
That means those items are getting onto the other platforms faster. What does that mean? I have more of a chance of selling the item, right? So more eyes on your items. And I always say that people on Poshmark and Mercari, they use their store credits to shop. So they may not even look at eBay, guys. So more eyes on your items, okay? I do have a referral link down below. You can get 30% off your first month of lists perfectly with coupon refer <laughs> coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word with the link down below. Now, once you upgrade to the pro plan, you can then upgrade to the pro plus plan for free until the end of the year. And that has all the new features that I talk about in those videos. And I will link those videos down in the description for you, make them real easy for you to find. And you guys can see what I'm doing and check out that new listing assistant, which is going to save you time. And time is money. All right, you guys, thanks for being here. Thanks so much for watching. And I will see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.